This way. I love King's Landing in the afternoon. The sun just barely kisses your skin. You used to love this place. Remember, we'd come listen to the musicians in the evening with Lady Marjorie? Just through here. What are you doing? You'll see. Queen Cersei's finest wine. Come on, sit down. You're going to get us both in trouble. Relax. Nobody will miss it, I assure you. A little won't hurt. <sighs> Suit yourself then. So, I, uh... Well, I just... I'm not very good at this sort of thing. Listen, if I tell you this, Mira, you must promise to keep it to yourself. You can tell no one. I want to trust you. Sarah, just tell me. All right, fine. Just please, keep it a secret. My mother was a handmaiden to Lady Elena for many years. She became pregnant. It was a disgrace to her family. My true name is Sarah Flowers. You're a bastard? Yes. I'm fortunate to be where I am, I know that. But to always have to hide. I don't want to hide from you as well. What of your father? Who is he? I don't know. My mother died not long after my birth. Who else knows about this? Lady Marjorie, her grandmother, and now you. It's just... I don't want to be Sarah Flowers forever. I need Lady Marjorie to arrange a marriage for me. It's my chance at a life. A family of my own. Have you tried asking Lady Marjorie? It's not something I can simply ask for. I need her favor first. I know she often confides in you, and I was hoping that maybe... Sometime when she comes to you wanting to talk, you might suggest she talk to me instead. Give me a chance to win her over. Coming from you, it's sure to mean a lot. I can't make that promise, Sarah. You could if you wanted. It's not that difficult. I have much bigger problems, Sarah. I need to look out for my family. No. You're right. I'm sure I would want to look after my family, too. I know your family's troubles are much greater than mine. With what happened to your brother and... Your father? You sure you won't have any? You look like you could use a drink. Hmm. A conspiracy of handmaidens. Lord Tyrion. My lord. Ladies? What have we here? If you mean to drink from that flagon, you're going about it the wrong way. We're just enjoying the sunshine. Is that what they're calling wine these days? Not the finest arbor red, but a favorite of my sister's. Quite expensive for a handmaiden. I'd be curious to know how you got hold of it. Since I'm certain my sister didn't give it to you, she won't even share with me. We found it. 
Found it? Where? In that bush. Lord Tyrion. Strange it should find its way into a bush. If Cersei knew you had this wine, she'd drown you in it. Yet you're worried about an alliance with me? You need to know what risks are worth taking. Things have changed. My father has recently taken an interest in Ironwood. Most of the Royal Navy went up in green flames. It must be rebuilt. He insisted I handle things myself. I'm on my way to meet representatives of Lord Whitehill. Lord Whitehill? He's hired a pair of merchant lords to broker for his house. It would seem Lord Whitehill wishes to sell the Ironwood right out from beneath your family. I don't know much about the man, but judging by his up-jumped sellswords, negotiating with him won't be pleasant. You can't let that happen. Why do you think I brought it up? Come with me. These men think I have no choice but to deal with them. Imagine their surprise when I bring a forester to the table. It might be the first fun I've had in months. My lady? We've been waiting here for an hour. Andros, be courteous. Courtesy in a merchant. Like finding gold in your chamber pot. Apologies, my lady. Who is this? Some girl you've brought for entertainment? She's a lady, Lord Andros. My name is Mira Forrester. Mira Forrester? Why are you here? A fair question. We were told we would be speaking to Lord Tyrion alone. This is no place for a forester. Perhaps you should ask Lord Tyrion. I asked you. Andros. She's here for the same reason you are. Ironwood. I'm sorry, Lady Mira, but we've already spoken to Lord you Tyrion. You spoke, I listened. Lady Mira has since persuaded me to consider her offer first. Now, if you'll excuse us. You're going to dismiss You can't us. do this. I assure you, I can. This is a mistake, my lord. I don't think so. Lord Whitehill will hear of this. He's not a man to take such matters lightly. Nor am Tell I. Tell whomever you wish, my lord. It's no concern of mine. We'll see about that. Lord Tyrion. Lord Tyrion. Do let me know when you've come to a decision. I'd like the opportunity to change your mind. Lady Mira. Good day, gentlemen. Ah, well, that was fun. Now, as for your offer, what did you have in mind? My lord? The Crown's Ironwood. I assume you have a proposition? You had a reason for coming here. I know it wasn't just to entertain me. I can see you're going to make me do all the work. Here's what I suggest. Say the Crown agrees to buy Ironwood solely from you. Lord Whitehill will be left in the cold. If he wishes to sell to the Crown, he'll have to do so through your family. You will have him at your mercy. Or, you'll bring your houses to open war. You do know that's a possibility, don't you? Then that's a risk I'll have to take. I'll consider the arrangement. Of course, you'd have to do something for me in return. Don't worry. We have an understanding, then. Thank you, my lord. This will... 
will either be very good for both of us, or very bad for you. For your sake, I hope it's the former. My lady. for the main gate. I know another way. You're coming with us then? If you're to save your house, you'll need more than the two of us at your side. You'll need an army. That's why you're here, isn't it? To hire one. An army of sellswords. And a man to lead them. Do you hear what I'm saying, boy? I can lead an army. I know you can. I've always known it. Your father was blind to that. None of that matters without sellswords to hire. And all the companies around here are engaged. What about Croft? One-eyed Croft, with the second sons. They're all with the Targaryen girl now. But Croft owes me a favor. I'm pretty sure he hates you, actually. No. He'll help us. I'll make sure of it. And how are you going to do that? He didn't part on the best of terms. I'll figure something out. Not exactly a plan, though, is it? Don't worry. He'll get it done. Well, this mother of dragons and her sellswords are headed north, so we make for Marine. Wait. Marie. Shit. What? Unfinished business there. I don't want to talk about it. We can't afford any distractions. It's not your problem. It'll be fine. I promise. It's fine. I trust you, Beska. I shouldn't have said anything. I said I was with you, little brother. And I meant it. Ponte Renas, Yonkai Heroncho, Sibota Gon Costoti da Or. Just one more we'll have to kill later. Let's go. You did well back there, Asher. You acted like a true leader. You two can talk about it later. We need to get out of here. They won't stop looking for us. It's a long journey to Marine on foot. I hope you're ready, Asher. It won't be easy. Let's just get that army. I'm ready. Good lad. Either we cross the narrow sea with an army at our backs, or House Forrester will not survive to see winter.
Hello? Everything's still here. The letters from my family. What would someone want with them? I have information that will aid you with the imp. Meet me in the gardens at midnight. There. <clears throat> that should last through Lady Elena's visit, at least. There's been no news from Mira. She may not have found a way to help with Elena. We'll be fine, Mother. I pray you're right. Lord Glenmore's army could keep us from ruin. But Elena must still agree to the marriage. <clears throat> My lord, you might remind Lady Elena that in terms of lineage, you are still very much a man. Maester. What I mean is, if the two of you wanted to produce an heir... That was never in question. Of, of course not. I just meant... Enough, Maester. When last we spoke of Elena... You seemed unsure how she might feel about you. You just have to show her that you're still the man she knew. I don't mean to burden you with unwanted advice, but this is an important day for all of us. Thank you, Mother. This advice well taken. I'm just so glad to see you home. My Lord, she's here. Roderick? You look... I know, I'm unspeakably handsome. I see you haven't lost your sense of humor. <laughs> no. Just two limbs and half a face. <laughs> Please. So, here we are. You look as beautiful as ever, Elena. Oh, thank you. I set out for Ironrath as soon as I heard you were alive. My father suggested I wait, but I can't believe it's been two years. Your brother's name day feast. We danced until the sun came out. But now your house prepares for a funeral. And you... Tell me the truth, Roderick. How are you, really? And please, be honest with me. I don't mean to pry, but... I won't lie. Every day is a battle. I can only imagine. So much has changed since we were children. Playing hide-and-seek in the grove and... You're so easy to find. You always hid behind the same tree. <laughs> Maybe I wanted you to find me. But Roderick, I um, I need to ask you something. When I arrived at Ironrath today, your courtyard was filled with soldiers. White Hill soldiers. They seemed angry, violent. They said some terrible things. The White Hills are your oldest enemies, Roderick. Why are they here? Has something happened? 
Trust me, they won't be here long. That wasn't an answer. I'm going to be honest with you, Roderick. I have always looked forward to our marriage. But in light of all that's happened to your family... I... My father is questioning the wisdom of our betrothal. He wants me to call it off. And what do you want? I've been asking myself the same question. And frankly... I'm torn. I don't care about your scars, Roderick. I love the boy you were, and I can love the man you are. But my family can't get drawn into a war with the Boltons. They're the Wardens of the North. And they flay their enemies. I know things may look bad, but I won't let our houses fall. <sighs> I wish I could stand by you, Roderick, but I have to be practical. Lena. It doesn't matter how we feel. How can I ask my father to risk everything? Even for you. Because I love you, Elena. Roderick. I wish that was enough. I'm sorry. But I have to think of my family. I'm going to tell father the betrothal is off. If it helps, we can delay the announcement. It'll give you time to get your affairs in order. Deepest apologies, my lord. I tried to stop him, but... So, he... the rumours are true. You have no right to just... And if it isn't Elena Glenmore. You're not still marrying into this wretched family. My father has not yet made a decision. Well, for what it's worth, you can do much better than this cripple. What do you want, Whitehill? What do I want? Ask your mother. She invited me here. That's not true. I sent a raven to Lord Whitehill about letting Brian attend the funeral, but I never expected him to barge in like this. Oh, she practically begged me to come. Of course, I'd want the same in her position. The youngest son hung to mourn his dead father and brother. What sort of a game are you playing, Whitehill? I just want to be certain that you know your place. Lord Ramsay ordered your family to obey my soldiers until my son Griff arrives from Hall. But now I hear you're ordering them around and refusing to feed them. It makes me start to question your obedience. Lud, enough of this. I do not have to obey. See? That's just the kind of arrogance I'm talking about. Sure. Here's the idea. We're going to make a fresh start, you and I. Your brother Ethan was a dismissive little shit. But you're a different man entirely, aren't you? So, if you want Ryan at that funeral, sure, Lady Elena, you respect your betters. Kneel, and kiss my shiny ring. Just do it, Roderick. You don't want to end up like your brother, do you? Please. It means nothing, and we'll get to see Ryan again. Now then, since you're a loyal subject, I'll need you to pay me a tribute. I'm taking what should have been mine in the first place. The other half of the Ironwood Forest. You can't do Ramsay that! Snow, I know said... what Ramsay said. I'm saying something else. As of today, I harvest Ironwood from wherever the fuck I please. You can't do a bloody thing to stop me. Would you defy an express order from House Bolton? I've known Roos Bolton my whole life. As long as he gets his ironwood, he won't care. 
Especially when I tell him you've sworn to obey That me. was a sign of respect, not an oath. Well, I have what it came for. I'll leave you to your business. Oh, by the way, my men have a name for you. Roderick the Ruined. Isn't that clever? I can't believe you would submit to him like that. I know you had your reasons, but... He doesn't deserve your obedience. I'll have my revenge. I hope so. I really do. My lord, are you well? Seven fucking hours. <laughs>